I'm Dr. Ned Priest. I'm an interventional radiologist at Centennial Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Diagnostic radiology and interventional radiology differ from radiation oncology in that we are frequently involved in the diagnosis of cancer and sometimes in the treatment of cancer. Radiation oncology, on the other hand, is always involved in the treatment of cancer through the application of therapeutic radiation by one means or another in order to eradicate that cancer. Interventional radiology assists in that role and plays a role in that in various ways at other times, but the two don't really overlap. As an interventional radiologist, I'm frequently involved in cancer cases when a tumor is discovered by diagnostic radiology or by other means. At that time, a referral to an oncologist, a medical oncologist, is frequently made. The medical oncologist needs to know exactly what type of cancer is to be dealt with, and that frequently results in the need for a biopsy. As an interventional radiologist, I perform invasive, image-guided procedures. And so, patients with tumors frequently come to me to have a biopsy of that tumor so that cellular material from the tumor can be looked at under the microscope and an exact diagnosis made. As an interventional radiologist in that situation, I use CT or ultrasound to localize the tumor and to direct a needle into the tumor and remove a small piece of it. The piece is about an inch long and about as big around as a piece of fishing line, so it's very small. We do this with sedation and with local anesthesia, and it's usually very well tolerated. I have nurses who care for the patient while we do this, and their particular attention is paid to the patient's discomfort level, keeping that very low. Once the biopsy is accomplished, we send the specimen to our pathology department. The pathologists look at the specimen and can tell exactly what type of cancer it is. They let the medical oncologist know, and the medical oncologist then tailors the treatment, the chemotherapy, the surgery, or whatever, to the exact type of tumor to get the best response possible for that tumor in that patient. So it's a team approach involving medical oncologists, interventional radiologists, pathologists, and sometimes surgeons and radiation oncologists. In the diagnosis of cancer, we've recently developed means by which we can actually determine the genetic type of tumor and tell exactly, based on the genetic code, where that cancer originated. That's very important because sometimes there's overlap in the visual appearance of one type of tumor to another. So in order to get the best therapy during a biopsy, we must get enough tissue to enable a genetic typing to be done. We do that here at Centennial Medical Center quite frequently. So we use a biopsy technique called core biopsy. That removes a piece of tissue from the tumor that's about an inch long and as big around as a piece of fishing line, a very small piece. But that's more tissue than we would get by simply placing a small needle within the tumor and exerting suction with a syringe. So we feel like this new and different type of biopsy that we can now do helps us be more accurate in diagnosis of tumors and therefore in therapy of tumors. The ability to place our biopsy needles accurately within a tumor is extremely important, both for getting the right piece of tissue from which to make the diagnosis and for avoiding complications and unneeded discomfort. At Centennial Medical Center, we use state-of-the-art CT machines and state-of-the-art ultrasound to accomplish this. It's very important that we be able to document that the needle was within the tumor so that we'll know for sure that the material we're looking at is a piece of tissue from the tumor in question. 
as an interventional radiologist, I'm trained in using guidance systems to place needles in a minimally invasive way. That's always helpful in getting the right diagnosis. If your doctor has scheduled you for a biopsy, here are some questions you might consider asking either of your doctor or of the physician who is going to perform the biopsy for you. Are you guiding the needle with an imaging modality, and if so, which one? Will the needle need to cross normal organs to reach the tumor in the abnormal organ? What possible complications could occur? How will pain be managed both during the biopsy and afterwards? And finally, if problems should occur after the biopsy, who should I call? The physician who did the biopsy or the physician who ordered the biopsy? A diagnosis of cancer is frightening and bewildering. I encourage you to educate yourself and to ask your doctor and all the doctors you encounter along your treatment program to explain the reason for the treatment, how the treatment actually works, and what can be expected afterwards, and to explain this in terms that you can understand. Cancer is a minefield or a sea filled with icebergs. To navigate that, you need to be educated and you will navigate that iceberg filled sea better if you're educated and if you take ownership of your own path of therapy. You need lots of resources. And the Mini Pearl Cancer Foundation at minipearl.org has many resources that you can call on independent of your doctor or your hospital that can help you navigate this treacherous sea.